24 hours, Dooski, seven days a week. Hey, what other motocross gaming YouTubers out there you know working harder than me? Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> So either way, had to come in there and check out the whole mud mode, right? First off, before I even get into it, whenever I went in there to actually, you know how in like Supercross 2 and um, the first Supercross game and stuff, you could go in there and when you actually selected the weather mode, you could pick between clear or wet track or rain mode. So you could basically have like three different modes. You could have totally dry, you could have where it like had rain but it's not currently raining and then you had the full-blown rain mode with the wet track and they've completely stripped out the just wet track mode so all you can pick between is completely clear or totally rainy so here's just another little we used to have it in the games before this why the hell would you cut that out like they just stripped out content for no apparent reason whatsoever so i just wanted to point that out you can't even pick like just wet track you know what i mean where it's sunny but the track's wet you can't pick that like what <laughs> why milestone why if you just had it in the game before what's the point in taking it out that doesn't even make any sense so Either way, uh, let me actually get my hand on the damn controller here. All right. So I have actually rode on this track on the dry mode. So we'll see kind of the differences that it's made here. Um, okay. So one thing just personal right here that I've kind of noticed from playing on all these, uh, you know, milestone games from all the way back to the beginning and the rain modes through all the games and shit like that and having extensive riding in mud and real life experience, all that kind of stuff, what it would actually feel like, which of course it's, everybody's going to have their own little vibe, their own little, their own little opinion on how mud actually feels like in real life. But Basically, one thing I've noticed with these milestone games that they've always kind of slacked a little bit on when it comes to the mud modes is they just don't feel slick enough. The, like it, or I guess slick is not really the exact word I'm trying to say when I say that. It's more like they don't make it sketchy enough as what real life you know mud tracks really are right like they just they don't capture that sketchy mud like oh you feel like you're gonna slide down in every corner you know that kind of vibe i feel like they're just they've always been just a slight little tick off when it comes to that making the the wet track mode feel actually like like more tricky like a wet track is versus just making it feel like it's more friction you know what i mean it seems like they're just making it like like it's just more friction so it feels more like just a deeper dirt or like a deep mud versus a slick mud. They, they've never really been able to capture that like slick mud vibe. Um, and that's something I've always kind of noticed about it. Now, of course, every track's going to be a little bit different. So we may go check out a different track here, here in just a second, kind of get a little bit of a variation to how it is, you know, a little bit more sense of what it really is like. But I, I do kind of notice the rain seeming to be more like, like how like kind of blowing in my face right now you know what i'm saying <laughs> against the wind you know what i'm saying boys like the rain seems to have more of a almost like you're in a goddamn hurricane something like that you know what i mean like the rain seems to have more of a wind blowing effect to it which is cool I'm not gonna lie it's kind of cool and it has you can see kind of right there how i like went through that corner and the rain kind of lightened up just a little bit then it started blowing in my face again so it seems to have a little bit of a variability versus just having a very standard raining straight down no matter where you're at on the track effect you know what i mean it's got a little bit more of a variability to it which is cool i like that i do like that milestone um i know that's crazy for spencer Turley to say anything positive about a milestone game but if you dumbasses actually watch my videos you would realize i've done that multiple times before obviously there's a lot of negative things i say and then it seems like people seem to only see that right they don't see the positive things i say about it but I do like the way the actual rain in the sky looks, but as far as like the track filling itself, it's just more friction. It's not really like more tricky or like, oh my God, you're going to lose your front end and wreck like you would on mud in real life or, oh my God, you're going to get cross rutted in this muddy rut or whatever. It's not really, it's not really like that. It just feels like you're kind of cut down on power and it feels like there's more friction to the dirt. 
And then, of course, I wreck right there and completely disprove my entire point. <laughs> no, but for real, the, I, I wrecked on that in the goddamn drive version of this. Sometimes when you land in this game, I don't know why that is, but, like, if you're just barely half-cocked to the side and you land, sometimes it just, like, does that little slide-out vibe in the corner as soon as you land, and then you wreck before you can even do anything. Um, that wasn't even from the actual rain mode right there. That was just... That was kind of how you come off that jump in that corner right there is what caused that wreck. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I would have expected at this point for it to feel more like a slick track versus just more like a deep mud track. It's not terrible in the grand scheme of mud modes. And, of course, a lot of it is graphical. A lot of it is, like, visual vibe, like a lot of things with these milestone games. But... It's not god-awful in the sense of like, oh my god, this is the worst mud mode I've ever rode on in any motocross game. It's not like that, you know what I mean? I just feel like at this point, they would have made more improvements to the way that it actually felt as far as on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, like the slickness vibe of it and the sketchy vibe feeling of it. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. You don't, it, you don't feel like you get in, in, in that... Uh, like controllable slide vibe in the corners you know if you're playing on a wet a good made wet track on mxm or something you get that bike sliding around but you can control it right if you have the skills whereas this it almost feels more like once it starts to slide it's it almost instantly wrecks before you can even do anything so it's kind of got a little bit of, or it's not sliding at all which is kind of weird because you should have almost a somewhat of a constant little skatey feeling if you're riding on slick mud like it should have more of that sketchy feeling to it i don't know that's just my own opinion but i, I would have assumed for it to be that way but uh it is aw awesome to see like you know graphically a mud mode that can look like this in a motocross game and the rain blowing in the wind and um you know that whole sort of vibe it's cool to see it but um, and I've never been like a super hater of the milestone mud mode, mud mode or rain mode or whatever you want to call it. Like I've never been like a hater of it or whatever. I've n I've never even said that many negative things about it. I always thought it was halfway decent, but it just I I don't know. It feels kind of weird when you go from like the dry version and then you go to the mud versions of the track and they just feel like more friction. Literally, that's it. They don't really feel like, oh, damn, this is slick. Like, I've got to be careful. I'm on mud. You know, it's just like, okay, my power is going to be cut down. And the way I go through the corners is going to feel slightly different just because it feels like more friction versus, um, you know, just going through like more hard packy dirt. It feels more like a friction based dirt. So it just, it just feels like it's cut, cutting down my power, really. In the grand scheme of it, like, I've played in a lot of different mud modes and felt realistic filling mud modes like on some certain tracks on mxm of course some mud modes on certain tracks on mxm can be complete shit if they don't get their like basically the tile map tile info the way the ground actually fills if they don't get that to feel like mud which is all up to the track maker if they don't really capture that then it can make it feel like shit you know but if you get on a good mud track on mxm it's got more of a I don't know, more of a feeling like you're actually in mud. This just feels like you're in deep, deep dirt. Like if you took off the the rain out of the sky and the the kind of like standing water areas on the track, you would literally think that you were just in deep mud, like like super dissed up mud or it rained like three days ago and has been drying for two days and it's just like that super deep ass clunky ass mud you know what i'm talking about if you ever rode on that in real life that's what this actually feels like even though it's it looks completely different than that you see what i'm saying i guess that's my biggest like complaint with it is it doesn't feel like what it looks like to me and some of you guys that don't haven't really had a lot of real life mud experience wouldn't understand that, but you gotta understand like it's it's too I've got it's too easy. Uh, that's that's the way to explain it. The mud mode on this makes it too it should be more difficult or more ability to cross rut your front end in a rut or like that like whoa I'm sliding but I can control it kind of vibe. Whereas this feels more like you're either a hundred percent in control on super friction or you're getting that weird MXGP slide out and boom, you crash, right? It's like one of the two. You don't have that like in the middle controllable cool ass slide and shit going on. It just doesn't really capture that. But at the end of the day, it's not 
ter- it's not, you know, there's a lot worse aspects to these milestone games than the, their mud modes, right? And it's cool that they do have a mud mode in their game. Some of these motocross games don't even have them. So, okay, so interesting. So when I stop, then it goes to where the rain is just falling straight down. So they always kind of go through this vibe of having to figure out, like, how they're going to replicate rain when you're looking at something in third person and like how they're going to make it come up on the screen and that whole sort of vibe. But you can see now it just looks like I've got a shower head above my head. You know what I mean? Raining on them, dog. <laughs> uh, make it rain on them hoes. I make it rain. You know what I'm saying, boys? <laughs> so then when you get to going, then it starts getting that like, you know, kind of like looks kind of windblown. And it does actually change the way that it looks on the screen itself, too. Like, when you slow down, it starts kind of just drizzling down the screen. But when you're actually going, it's like it's like you're in a car looking out a window when you're driving versus when you're sitting still, right? So they kind of try to simulate more of that effect to it, which is cool, right? I think they did a, did a decent job on that. So either way, let me get on another track right quick. Okay, so here we go on a uh, different track right here. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, is it a terrible mud mode? Like, no, it's not. Um, I feel like it just comes down to, and this comes down to this a lot of times with a lot of things in these Milestone games, is the fact that it's just been so similar for so many games that... A lot of aspects, it's not like they're god-awful. It's just you would have expected for them to have improved it more at this point. You know what I mean? Seven games deep. Like, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, they do make two games a year. But that's that's precisely my point. <laughs> you know, they make too many games too frequently. And then therefore, it seems like it takes three or four games before you ever get a real improvement, right? That sort of improvement you would expect in any other triple a title motocross game full price motocross game you know that's personally i think they need to just lower their price on their games down to 30 bucks if they want to still come out with two games a year just lower the price down to 30 bucks and my entire tune that i have with you milestone will completely change because that'll change everything that's what's killing every bit of what you're doing right now is you're trying to make it seem like Every one of these games that you're coming out with, every two games that you're coming out with every year are supposed to be full-blown AAA, $60 a piece. And that's just a rip-off, straight up, because you're not making full game AAA price improvements with every game, right? And that's the whole issue with it. But I swear to God, I would not have nowhere near the negativity towards you, nowhere near the the uh, really like getting getting down to the wire on what you haven't improved that much. and you know, It wouldn't be nowhere near like it is if you cut down your, the price of your games in half. It wouldn't be no... I would be like, okay, yeah, this is a $30 game. So, okay, cool. It is worth it. You know what I mean? If it was a, if it was a $30 game, then I'd be like, yeah, it's worth that. But it's not worth $60. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people's minds just get tricked, man. They really do. They see the graphics. They're not super deep into motocross gaming. They're more of a casual motocross gamer. So they don't understand, like, the core gameplay elements of the game and physics systems and whip systems and how all that shit really is, like, in motocross gaming, like, in a hardcore sense. They don't fully understand all those different aspects. So then they just see the really good graphics, the really good rain mode graphic effects and visuals to everything and then all the official shit and the official titles and a lot of times that's all it takes to win these people over it could have been a 300 dollars game and a lot of people would have bought it because it's like they don't really care so much about the gameplay it's they're they're being brought in and enticed with everything other than the gameplay and, and content you know what i mean they're being enticed by graphics and the look to everything and the official titles you know they get the, get these ideas in their head just because it's an, an official title it's got to be good right no dog that don't mean a goddamn thing like it don't mean nothing so the, i feel like they've just they've brainwashed and tricked a lot of people into continuing to buy their shit over and over and over and they've just caught it at a time where motocross gaming just was going in a bad drought, you know what I mean? Like when the MXGB series really started coming around, motocross gaming in general was in a drought and a half with the MX vs. ADB series going down the shitter hole with MX vs. ADB Supercross and all that. So 
it, it really helped Milestones seem like they were better than what they were and like they were more than what they were because of their timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, had Milestone been making their games and started making their shit back when, like, Unleashed, Untamed, and Reflex came out, oh, God, dude. It, it would have been some shit for Milestone. They wouldn't have got half the love that they get. People would have been way more critical on everything. But it's the fact that all these motocross gamers have been in a drought for so long that anything seems good at this point. You know what I mean? It's like there's not enough competition. So then it's just like everything seems good that Milestone's go- doing because it gets to that point where they're almost the only person making these sort of AAA arcade motocross games, obviously other than All Out now. But um, you know what I mean, though? That's helped them drastically. Just the fact that there's not a whole lot of other competition and people that are really pushing the boundaries with arcade motocross game physics and real arcade motocross game content that you expect and all that. So Milestone's gotten free passes out the asshole with a lot of shit and I, it's just not going to cut it for much longer, you know. But either way, when it comes to the mud mode, like, and even the deformation of it, like, I can already kind of tell right here that it's not all that much different than their previous games, mud deformation, you know, it's, it's just kind of, and that's kind of how mud tracks are, they kind of get blown out, don't really make hard ruts, and I understand that, but the problem is, is when you start rutting the track up, it should have more of a sketchy mud fill, and, and it should get progressively more sketchy the more ruts you make on it which it doesn't really seem to have that feeling to it, right? It's not even really all that sketchy to begin with. feels like, like I say, you're just on more of a deep mud or deep dirt track, uh, more than like a slick mud, you know, on every track in the game. But even when you start rutting it up, it doesn't really change how sketchy it is, which that's not really right. Like it should certainly make it feel more sketchy the more ruts you get on it, the more uh, potential to cross rut your front end in the muddy rut, you know, and all that kind of shit. But it just doesn't really have that feeling you know they're missing a lot of those elements to it as well but it honestly it just seems like they've improved on the way the rain looks out in the distance in the sky and the way the rain looks on the screen and that's really all i can say to it it's not really all that different as far as the filling on the track the all that kind of stuff the way it ruts it up it's not really all that different guys it's the same old same mud which it wasn't never super terrible but it's it's not like it's changed in this game i guess is what i'm trying to get at you know what i'm trying to let you guys in on it's not really different on this game so don't come into here thinking oh new mud mode like no bro no same same old same shit you've had back in supercross 2 it makes you be pro it's the same sort of vibe going on here boys and that's the same thing with the the game in general it's the same sort of vibe like you know it just gets that point where it's like you really are just kind of wasting money um because you could be dedicating that time into so many other games that have so much more longevity to them or just go play the older milestone games you know what i'm saying like you're gonna get a very very similar experience if you go play supergrass 2 or like I mean, with MXGB Pro, obviously, you're going to have a little bit more of a janky-ass pop-off system and stuff like that. But as far as the overall game, like, it's not going to be all that much different, you know? Um, I feel like with Milestone, most people should just, like, skip a year every time they buy a Milestone game. And they'll be way more satisfied. You know what I'm saying, dog? Like, just skip, buy a Milestone game every other year. Or just buy one milestone game a year, right? So, like, instead of going and buying Supercross 2 and MXGP, just buy one of them. And then the next year, just buy one of them versus buying both of them. And you'll, you won't you will get so much that repetitive, um, you know, just, like, tiring you out on the games and shit like that. It, it'll feel more like, a, like an improvement over time but I, I even think you should go like a whole year and not buy a single milestone game and then buy them the next year like let's say you bought supercross one right and you bought uh mxgp pro um and then you didn't buy supercross 2 and then you didn't buy mxgp 2019 well whatever comes out next year should be more of a genuine improvement i say should be because goddamn milestone you never know but should be more of an improvement 
over the first Supercross game in MXGP Pro. More of an improvement like you would expect versus going in here and playing Supercross 2 in MXGP 2019. These aren't really that big of improvements, you know. I mean, there are some improvements in certain aspects and things, but it's just not especially considering that you're spending $120 every year. That's if you don't buy any of the DLC, which a lot of times it feels like they're cutting out content to then put in as paid DLC. I hate when companies do that shit. But so, you know, you could even put that $120 you're spending a year up to like $150 plus that you're spending a year on this shit, when in reality, really, you should only, you should only be paying like 60 for it, you know? For two games, 30 bucks a pop, no bullshit, pay DLC later, just put it in the game from the jump, put all that content in the game from the jump, don't split the community like that, right? It's one thing if you want to put genuine DLC into something, but don't put like a compound with a motocross track as DLC in the first Supercross game when it didn't even have a compound free ride track to begin with, right? Shit that should have already been in there. Don't make that paid DLC. Don't make the Monster Energy Cup paid DLC that should have already been in Supercross 2. Dude, <laughs> don't do that bullshit, Milestone. People don't like that. I don't care how hardcore of a fan they are. They, they see right through that type of shit. Like, us gamers are standing up to this bullshit cut out paid DLC crap that these AAA come to one thing if you have a free to play game but not in a AAA game dog especially ones like these that are very little improvements they really should only be $30 games you know that kind of vibe um, but either way with the mud mode not god awful but not like not really all that much of an improvement uh, still think they could do quite a bit of things the way the track actually fills and the traction fills and the what you know you don't want it like super slick like ice you don't want it like retardedly slick but you just want it to feel more like slicker mud not so much deep deep mud you know i think if they they went down that road they'd be a lot better off and make the ruts actually have more of an effect on the mud versions of the tracks right um more like mud ruts actually having mud effect on the mud tracks you know but either way dudes appreciate you guys watching all the videos dog later